I was a surgeon finishing my residency when I got to join NASA as one of the first six women astronauts, which was wonderful. And after a period of time, I made three flights and it was time for me to move on into a different career. Um, I had really accomplished all I wanted to accomplish at NASA. So I came back to Tennessee, my husband and children came to, and I, I got a really good job at, Vander, at the Vanderbilt Medical Center, Vanderbilt University Medical Center, as the assistant chief medical officer. Now, I wasn't sure I could do that, but I just sucked it up and told the guy, oh, I'd love to come and work for you. A uh, wonderful chief medical officer who put me in charge of safety and process improvement. He said, you know about systems and we need to learn more about that here. So I'm thinking, can I do that? Can I do that? I'll give it a try. I'll pretend I can do that. So when I came to, to Vanderbilt, I worked on a variety of different things to improve, improve efficiency of the way the, the medical center operated. But there came a time when uh, there were a couple of pilots from Memphis, uh, FedEx pilots, who came to Vanderbilt and asked if they could adapt a course that they had been teaching pilots about keeping safe in airplanes, if they could adapt that um, to a, a medical institution that would make things safer for patients. And, you know, my boss said, well, we have a couple of astronauts here. Would you talk to them? And of course, they went, whoa. Um, and so we began to teach um, doctors and nurses and people um, how to not make mistakes on patients. And the program went really well. It was very well received. We, we trained many, many departments at Vanderbilt. And, in, and the, the facts showed up. You know, there were fewer mistakes, fewer malpractice cases, and everything went well. So once we had sort of perfected the, the case at Vanderbilt, we thought, well, why don't we go teach this to other people um, across the country? And so I became one of the founding partners of a company called Life Wings Partners. And we went across the country and taught other institutions. And it was a, it was a wonderful program. It's still out there. Um, I backed out of it and moved on to other things. But, you know, it was certainly a wonderful business. It gave me uh, a lot of good information about how businesses are run, how the money comes in and goes out, um, who does what, uh, and how to be a good businesswoman. So it was a a wonderful thing and there were lessons that I learned there that you know have carried me you know for the rest of my life. One of the things that I learned early on in seeing some other women come and work with us was that you have to look like a professional. You have to dress like a professional. You have to be able to stand up in front of a, a group of people, men and women, and, um, and be a professional person. Um, you know, you can certainly have a sense of humor and have fun, um, but you have to be serious about the work part that you do. And all the way along the line, I have worked in male-dominated fields until very recently. Everything I did uh, was, was male-dominated. And I just sort of learned how to, to work through that and, you know, to joke around with them, not take offense at a whole lot of different things, but to straighten them out if they said something that I thought was not in good taste. But it was a journey and I learned how to navigate it. I think it, it introduced me to a kind of a bigger world. You know, went to, we went to uh, medical centers and doctors groups all over the country. And, you know, just seeing the, the different way things were run. You know, we would go into a hospital and we would be speaking to leadership. And in a lot of ways, the leadership was not very good. You know, there were doctors trying to be business leaders and they didn't know how to to do that and we had to, to gently bring them on board yes you must make people come to this training session if we're going to come here and put on a training session people must come it's not an option uh, you've paid for all of these people to, to you know come here and so that was interesting and quite frankly it was wonderful to see that the medical world finally got it that uh, when you were a doctor in a leadership role, that was different than being in a, a doctor in an office or, 
or a, a surgical suite where you just told everybody what to do. So understanding more about leadership myself, understanding or seeing what works, what doesn't work, uh, and how you move people towards successful outcomes.